Poochie piss off? Yeah. Oh yeah, their death music is cool. This game is insane. Holy fuck! <laughs> this game's rad! Da, 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 da. Hell yeah, she went up a level! Look, it's so cute, I'm not gonna spoil it, what she does at the end of fights past a certain point. Mm. It's great. Oh hey, the actual thing that was talking to you. I was hoping. Yes, it's the shadow that she saw. But I think we're actually gonna see, like, in color! Ooh. Hmm. Uh, looks like a very sad turtle. So it is a turtle. Cut. Okay, all right. It's Staldar, the guardian of water. Oh! So this is one of, like, the big four. This is a really yeah. important guardian. There's a lot of them. Oh, yeah, we, we literally just read the book about this mm -hmm. guy. The demon Nelgal has locked me in this terrible book. I've waited a long time for the innocent one who had received the guardian spirit. Has she still not gotten it that he's talking about her? Could that be me? <laughs> the world is at the turning point of darkness again. Innocent one, can you hear the anger of the land and the wind? No. <laughs> the what? Uh, yeah. This is just bringing up a lot of indigenous questions for me. Yeah. Honestly. The screams of the sea and the sky. She <laughs> ellipses. She's like, nah, oh, man. Who? Yeah. Wear me as your armor, innocent one. I shall protect you in your fight for life. The battle for Philgaia begins again. Everything begins with Olivia. It's like, oh shit. Were we told not to go there? Yeah, this is the second time I've heard about Lithia, but it's not the same person. Right. So, I don't know if you noticed when I was upgrading or changing out armor and stuff. Mm -hmm. There's a slot for runes. Yeah. So when you get the guardian to join you, you get their rune. Okay, that makes so sense. So now I can equip this. Olithia, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean, princess? I don't hell, out of the three people we're gonna be fighting it, you're the most learned of them all. <laughs> if you don't know, we are bone. <laughs> She's so nonchalant. Hey, welcome back. I just saw you spaghettify back into this hallway. <laughs> <laughs> now you realize the responsibilities of the women in the Adelheid family. Do what now? <laughs> the female descendants of the Adelheid family share their thoughts with the guardians. They must carry the burden of their destiny with them for the rest of their lives. Oh my god. <laughs> Stand the tear back. Pass. <laughs> well, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember if her mom is oh. present. Yes. No one can understand the pain and pressure which you must endure, but they can help you cope with it and make your life easier. Cecilia, there are those who can relate to the burden one's destiny brings. Look at that. That's a weird line will break. Walk proudly from the Abbey. You must travel your own path from now on. You guys Look, are kicking me out <laughs> on my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's not forget, this is all happening on this girl's birthday. <laughs> this present sucks balls. Yeah, I got a tat turtle for my birthday. <laughs> 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 oh god, I didn't even heal after that. Alright. Sir, I'm gonna need you to fix this. Please, my innards want to be outards. Wait, that didn't do anything. What the... Oh, maybe it got rid of status effects, perhaps. All right, dude, can I go to bed? Can I lay down What, are you really not gonna let me go to sleep now? <laughs> you get the fuck out, you don't live here anymore. The Ruin Festival in Adelheid must have a lot of news to report on. I wanna go so bad. Not the Ruin Festival. This place is terrible. Hmm. All right. So now we're about to go do the black and white walk into the distance thing on that day everything changed i mean it did for the worst a yeah adelheid is along the beach to the north we'll miss you cecilia <laughs> okay bye Should i hope she knows how to get back home the guardians from the legend have spoken only to her without a sound the wheels of destiny have started to turn for the worst the path she followed in the past was guided by her surrounding. Yeah, these blind bricks are terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, she knew someday she would have to pave her own path to the future using money. Ah! The innocent one who the guardians speak of, ellipses. It may be too heavy a burden to be the sorceress <laughs> of the ultimate <laughs> power at such a young age, ellipses. 
Ready or not, bitch. <laughs> the end. All right. Time to play as Rudy, the farmhand. In Surf Village. Yeah, I don't think it's by the water. But this is one of my favorite songs in the whole game. Life is gradually fading from the land, slowly but surely the destruction of Fulgaia continues. Sorry, that was my fault, I was eating popcorn. A devastated environment filled with ferocious monsters plague the people of Fulgaia. <laughs> who desperately tried to cling to their land. It's like we're reading from a damn teleprompter. It is, but someone, they're fucking with us. Those who dare to venture out are called dream chasers. That's right. There's a boy in the village of Surf. It's hard to believe that this boy has the potential to become a dream chaser. Oh no, he's wearing a headband. So what does he see? Calling it a day, kid. Thanks a lot. The barrels are all sorted. All three of them. I hired you at the recommendation of Mayor Pfeiffer. You turned out to be okay. By the way, what's your name? Oh. Rudy. Rudy, you're stronger than you look. The horses seem happy. Here's today's pay. Sorry, kid. It's all the village can afford. A berry? For pushing some barrels around? All right. <laughs> you should see if the mayor has any more work for you. Thanks again. See ya. <laughs> this isn't even an entire meal. So his whole dream is he wants to go out in the world. I think technically Jack is a dream chaser. Right, but they call him a treasure hunter. Mm. Yeah. I got you. Oh, yeah, you can throw the chickens and they won't come murder you like Zelda. But we're gonna smash everything we can see. <sighs> Party apple. So the apples in this game race stats. Oh, okay. So earlier I found one and I gave it to Cecilia. It was a mystic apple because I was like, yeah, none, none of the guys. Or at least, you know, not for a while, are gonna need magic. Yeah. I think their skills are gonna use MP, but. Hmm. And I love this. Yeah! Fade in. Yeah! That's nice. But also, it looks more like the insides are really industrial. Yeah. It doesn't look like wood paneling, which I think is what it's supposed to be. Tony, busy, busy, busy. I'm so busy today. Do you wanna know why? Yeah, sure. I don't have time to tell you. God damn! Oh my god. Maybe when I get back. Back from where, Tony? Oh, he did. Long ago, in the cave to the south, there were powerful berries called holy berries, but the last seed was used to kill a monster, so there are no more. You want to hear more? Yes, please. There is no more. Long ago, a monster prevented the villagers from collecting berries from the cave. The villagers hired many bounty hunters, but the monster kept coming back to life over and over again. Mm. As everyone began to give up, one of the bounty hunters had a brilliant idea. His idea was to plant a holy berry seed inside the monster while it was regenerating. The holy berry sprouted and sealed the monster with its magic. Nobody believes the story anymore. It's considered a fairy tale. Well, this is pretty fucking important for you to just, like, bring it up. All right, by the way, this one this won't be coming up in the next ten minutes. Okay, bye. Yeah. Good luck out there, you crazy kid. It really is like this music is kind of depressing though, but I think it kind of puts you in the mood of like where everybody is. Cause look at the ground. Well, it's I not just it's worn away from people walking. It's like even where there's grass, it's just dilapidated. Green grass ain't so green, son. Yeah, they're like, what is rain? We call it Surf Village in the hopes it will rain. I don't know that, but that's what it feels like. Right. Like you're saying that out of turn and yet I wanted to believe you. <laughs> well, all the Wild Arms games kind of end up, you know, it's these desolate places. Mm. It's really easy to write fantastical stories and engaging stories uh, set in an area where the world is on the brink. Mm. Because it's much easier to put your characters in harm's way and have narrative hooks for why they have to go out and do the thing. Well, God, they almost have nothing to lose. Ex Rudy yeah. doesn't have any family. Mm. It's just him. He, that's not true. He might have a, a grandfather. Mm. I just got these barrels sorted, Rudy. Yeah, what the hell are you doing all the way out here? Oh, Calamity Jane. She's a bounty hunter. Stories I of her battles. <laughs> oh, just wait. With monsters are famous, she's probably very beautiful. I can't wait. I really can't wait. She's oh, gonna be the, Jane. She's gonna be the worst. I'm gonna love her. 
<laughs> to the south, there's a city holding a festival. I want to go. Gee, it might be Adlahide. I really like this game. Does a good uh, job of environmental storytelling. Heck yeah, I could have just played. Well, just like that, like. There's enough context clues if you're paying fucking attention gotcha, gotcha. to know. Alright, well these three jokers are gonna end up at Adelheim. Oh. About 30 minutes. What? <laughs> That's crazy. Well, just wait. I don't know. Ah, uh... oh, damn. I don't know if I can get through that whole segment tonight. But that's where it would need to end is after we get through all that. Jeez. Alright. Play faster. My husband tells me you've been working hard. You must be tired. There are beds upstairs. Do you want to take a rest? Not at the moment, but thank you. For your eight dollars I stole. Darling, remember that eight dollars your father gave to you on his deathbed? Oh, yes, my darling. No. It's gone missing. Oh, God. Rudy, how are you? Thanks to you, the stables are in great shape. Take these as a token of my appreciation. Long ago, I found these bombs while exploring Egypt. <laughs> Here, child, have some explosives on the house from the government. And he's not just saying they're bombs like it's actually dynamite. They're fucking bombs. Just watch. Hold on. <laughs> you may find them handy. So I got literal bombs. Oh my god! For most small objects, walk next to the object you want to blow up and push the tools button. It'll go off in a bit. These magical bombs will never run out. In the good old days, magic berries could be found in the cave to the south. We would use the bombs to clear debris from the cave. Now that all the berries are gone, we no longer need them. The world is fading and our village is starting to feel the impact. Jesus. Oh, Bro. shit! <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta talk to the mayor. Stat! A child from our village has gone into the berry cave. What? What do we do? My god, Rudy, I need you to give me back them bombs. <laughs> I must blow up the thing to do the thing. Unless, Rudy, you do it. Nah. He's, like, he's trying to put a bomb on like a chicken's head, huh? I don't know. The berry cave is full of monsters. There's not much we can do. I must talk to the townsfolk about the situation. Please keep this quiet. We can't have people panicking. Yeah, good luck with that. They already know a kid's missing. Alright. These, the, these are the bombs he just gave this child. Rudy is like a teenager. Jack's the oldest. I think Cecilia's the second oldest. I think Rudy's the youngest. Okay. <laughs> oh! Oh, uh, yeah. Tony, where can he be? I hope he's not causing trouble in the village. Oh, oh don't worry. He's dead outside in the berry <gasps> cave. My son, Tony, he may seem wild, but he's a really good kid. His smiling face has helped me through my illness. Oh, Jesus. Well, I think we all know. Tony went in the cave to go get them holy magic berries for his I'm dad's illness. I'm mother. A father, sorry. Dang. Well, all right, my level one ass with some bombs is about to go. Fix everything. I'm gonna save the world. Yeah. By blowing it up. Shut up. Oh. Okay, you already got that clip. Long myth. How many do I have, though? I don't have any of these. Oh, no. We're gonna have two. 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 I typically try to keep. As I get further on in games, I try to keep at least 10 yeah. of the status things. Now, granted, by the time I actually get around to using them, I probably already got some spell that will get rid of status stuff. But... It's nice to have the option. Yes, you never know if you might run out of MP, or that person's no longer in the party for some god-awful reason. Look at you, Final Fantasy VII. So... Mm -hmm. Parents will be worried about you being a dream chaser. Oh, you don't. I'm sorry to hear that. Pardon me. So yeah, just through conversations with people. Rudy, how, how long has Rudy been in this town? I don't think he's been there very long. If they just paid him to be the stables, I think he probably just wandered in. Mm. But I mean, the kids were comfortable enough to talk to him, so it's like, right. I don't know. Welcome to Surf Village. Visitors are always welcome here. Oh, so we're going to get to the world map for the first time. Oh, I didn't think about that.